Drill team. Members of the U.S. Oh. Army Drill Team, one of the highlights of the U.S. Army Field Band Summer Concert Series finale. More on the show in a moment. Also this week, Fort Meade service members to play in NATO Chess Championship. The installation's 9-11 Remembrance Ceremony is coming up. I'll have details. These stories and more on Meade Week. Hi, I'm Brian Spann. One of the bennies of being a member of the Team Meade community is the U.S. Army Field Band and its various components. Bands that tour all over the world are assigned right here at Fort Meade. And every summer they stage a series of summer concerts just for the local community. And each year they invite alumni members to join them for the summer finale. Maryland residents Raymond and Adrienne Irving are band alumni who have been coming back for the event for years. Well, I spent 25 years with the concert band, and I think it's very exciting to, uh, first of all, come back and be with all my friends. I retired six years ago, and I look around, the band just keeps getting, seems like they get younger and younger, but uh, the band gets better and better. Adrienne, while not strictly an alumnus, has multiple connections to the field band. I'm here with my husband Ray because he was in the field band for 25 years and in recent years they've invited family members to play as well as alumni on these concerts. So, And I also know Joel who's the present member of the band when uh, I was in Maryland Symphony and he auditioned for that group. So I have a connection to both of the other bass players. About a dozen alumni members contributed to the evening's festivities and for most like the Irvings, we'll see them again next year. Elsewhere, the Directorate of Emergency Services is hosting the installation's 9-11 Remembrance Ceremony on Thursday, September 11th at 9 a.m. DES is located at the intersection of Taylor Avenue and Mapes Road. In case of inclement weather, the ceremony will be held in the fire department engine bays at the rear of the building. You can contact DES if you have any questions. In other news, the Canadian Army is hosting the 25th NATO Chess Championships in Quebec City September 8th through 12th. Approximately 16 NATO countries, including the United States, are sending a team. Two of the team members, including the team captain, are assigned to Fort Meade. Earlier this week, we spoke with Team Captain Army Colonel David Hayter and Air Force Master Sergeant Robert Keogh about the squad and the NATO tournament. I took it upon myself with some other people, uh, uh, Master Sergeant Keogh and a few others. We said, we still want to go, even if it's at our own expense. Uh, so they know the NATO people know who I am because I played 10 times. So I emailed them and said, hey, you know, the United States is not going to officially sponsor a team. Can I organize a team? And they said, sure, come on, but we'd love to have your team. The Colonel's biggest concern in picking a team was making sure the process was as fair as possible. I worked through the military chess committee and we came up with a mathematical formula so that it was objective. It weighted your national ranking the highest, although there were some other factors. Uh, for instance, we gave you bonus points if you've played in the NATO championship before. We gave you bonus points if you played in an armed forces championship before, because that's the kind of thing we wanted to reward. And then I crunched the numbers um, and invited uh, the top players. We just, I just went down the list. Master Sergeant Keogh explained how the ranking process works and that the highest ranking player on the team was a bit of a surprise. If you're over a certain rating, number then they give you a title and if you're over the rank of 2000 like we both are over 2000 we're called an expert if you're over 2200 you're a master and we actually have a private in the army that's a master coming to this tournament uh, so it makes our chances he's number two seed in the tournament so we have a good shot once again and now with the team roster set we asked the colonel how you prepare for a chess tournament and for a prediction we may want to look at games that our opponents have played so just like in the NFL where they watch film of their opponents, we like to do the same thing if we can get it. We've got two masters and four experts, which is, I think, the strongest team we've ever had. Um, and if, our, if the masters play well and the experts just do what they're supposed to do, I think we should take silver or bronze. The NATO Chess Championship is September 8th through 12th in Quebec City, Canada. Meanwhile, a final reminder this week from MWR, volunteer coaches are needed for youth sports programs throughout the year. Volunteers receive free training and certification through the National Youth Sports Coaches Association. If you're interested, contact Child Youth and School Services at 1900 Reese Road or call 301-677-1179. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.